Scientists in Switzerland are testing whether humans can control an extra robotic arm without impacting our ability to do other things at the same time. Silvestro Macera is a professor and neuroengineer at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. The research was published in the peer-reviewed journal Science Robotics. The main motivation is to understand the nervous system. Because if you challenge the brain to do something which is completely new, you will understand whether the brain is able to do that and how you can facilitate this learning. And then you can transfer this also to other applications, in particular, for example, for assistive devices with people with disability, rehabilitation after stroke and this kind of things. The researchers devised a system where someone wearing virtual reality goggles sees three arms, with the extra limb looking a little different to limit natural association. Volunteers held onto an exoskeleton which controlled the virtual left and right arms, while movement detected by a belt around their waist measured their breathing and controlled the middle arm. Giulia Dominijani is a PhD student. In particular, we use this environment to test our gaze respiration based control interface. Uh, and as a first step, we decided to assess is actual feasibility for effective augmentation, so assessing the possibility of still speaking and uh, gazing around. The researchers also tested breathing control with a real robotic arm strap to the user's chest that extends in and out with the diaphragm. What was extremely interesting to see was that both trained participant and naive participants performed similarly, again showing the intuitiveness of our uh, control interface. Though it wasn't published in the study, senior scientist Salimin Shakur says the team also discovered that people could be trained to control a computer mouse with the muscles we don't really use anymore. So these muscles that we have in our body but through evolution we have lost their functionality. We have found that through a few days of training people could use this auricular muscles, which are this muscle we have behind the ears, to control this extra limb while still using their natural arms and still speaking and looking around. The study is part of a Swiss National Science Foundation project to develop a wearable robotic arm to assist in daily tasks or to help in search and rescue.